so let me uh, tell you why my app got rejected so there's a uh, policy violations so or else we can say the our app is uh, not meet uh, the google policy requirement so our app having some uh, issues so that's the reason google reject uh, my application hello guys welcome you all to my youtube channel uh, today uh, i'm going to uh, share with you the experience uh, which i have had a couple of uh, week ago so that is uh, my uh, app is got rejected by google so let me uh, tell you why my app got rejected so there's uh, policy violations so or else we can say the our app is uh, not meet uh, the google policy requirement so our app having some uh, issues that's the reason google reject uh, my application so hope you all know uh, last uh, video i have uh, show the demo that is uh, rahim's food so that is the app uh, which i have developed so recently so that is right now it's published but uh, that is happened before publishing this application so i will uh, today i decide to talk about uh, why app is uh, getting rejecting and how to uh, get approved soon and things we are going to uh, cover in this video so first of all uh, i need to tell about uh, so if you are a developer android developer or if you are developing a mobile application you need to aware about uh, google policies so if you are publishing your app on uh, applications uh, mobile app on google play uh, google you need to aware about a uh, google policies so there's a lot more policies and a lot more uh, guidance or rules set we have to follow when we are developing applications so that is uh, one thing so today i'm not uh, uh, going to talk about in depth but i will uh, talk about uh, the the things which i had uh, and which i have faced that only i'm going to talk in this video so uh, i told you before so this is my rahim food is the second application but uh, before that i have developed uh, one kind of application that is for parents that application name is amma points so that also uh, one of the mobile application which i have done right so i will show you here you can see uh, here you can see uh, i got a notification uh, once uh, we uh, publish uh, once we uh, submit our applications to the review uh, what uh, google doing is uh, they taking small time so if you are create a new account and if you are submitting your new uh, AAB or APK file through the Google Play, but uh, how long it take to review is it taking definitely in the in their official site they mentioned that is taking uh, more than seven days, but it is uh, it is a new account it's de definitely taking more time. So it took me seven days for my first application when I was submit for review and uh, after that if you are pub publishing a new uh, uh, application or new uh, mobile app apk file or double ab file it will taking more uh, more than three days to review your application so this is the one uh, i got uh, after submit after three days i got a notifications to my email saying uh, my published status is got rejected so i'm just confused uh, why uh, my application got uh, rejected because i'm not uh, fully aware about this uh, policies so that is one thing right so after that uh, in the uh, violations in the in the same email they mentioning uh, issue the violations of uh, permissions policy so if you are android developer you know that so if you want to access some core functionalities in your mobile application you need to uh, request permission or you need to access the permission first you are writing a code to uh, get a permissions for let's say for example if you want to access a core functionality in your mobile app let's say it's a camera 
it's a camera you need to access it you need to write the code uh, to access the camera functionality so that is the uh, one which we are uh, doing so if you want to access a flash uh, flash in your camera you need to write a permission for that if you want to access the call logs then you need to write permission for that if you want to access the camera in your mobile then you need to again you need to write a permission for that so likewise each and every core functionalities you need to write uh, the code to get a permission so then only you will cater with these uh, implementations so it's based on your requirement so for uh, my application uh, in my application for me it's required to send an sms through the mobile so i have write a code to access the sms service right so i'm accessing the sms so i have wrote that but that is where the issue is happen so that is the reason my application got rejected so here you can see after review what they are mentioning here is after reviewing your app, we found that it doesn't quality to use request permission for following reasons. So they once uh, they review your application, in the same they will uh, saying the reason why your application got rejected. So here you can see they are highlight here uh, in uh, yellow color. So they are saying request permission do not match core functionality of app. So I already told you right so if you are submitting your application you need to uh, do some extra work let's say for example you need to uh, set a release note and you need to declare the form what are the permissions you are accessing from this uh, applications everything you need to mention when you are before submitting to the review right so here you can see your declared default SMS handler and any other core functionalities usage while default handler as a core functionality of your app however after review we found that your app does not match the declared use case so they in the policy set they mention some scenarios use case scenarios that that is or uh, that then only that use use case only we can access this kind of core functionalities but here my use case is not there actually that is actually my use case is not there so that is uh, where the issue so in the same learn more about the permit use and exceptions they send us two url to me to know about what are the use case they are permitting to uh, permitting for us and what are the exceptions there what are the invalid scenarios everything we can see there so if you click here I'm going to go this permit users so here you can see the permit use of SMS and call logs for a permission right permit use for permit use of the SMS and call log permissions right here they are saying these are the default SML handler any other core functionalities so eligible permissions they telling here so in here you can see in my exceptions and you can see what are the use case we can use this for access and uh, likewise they are mentioning a lot of things but uh, in our, our case uh, we, you can see the invalid users so these are the invalid use and the same I have so the alternative to common use alternative to common use so here is a place I realize so if I want to access the SMS uh, service or SMS permissions we don't need to write that is on Android uh, SAML so I'm saying uh, Android it's saying I'm not remember properly Android manifest.xml so there is a place there's a file we are writing to use the permission so we don't need to write that it on uh, our Android manifest so what I did this so after you can see if I go through this again this uh, policies so I can so I saw that uh, there's a uh, one more new concept or one more new approach 
the alternative solution instead of using this uh, SMS I saw there's a SMS intent so there's a, a link also there with here you can see a SMS intent so I go through this SMS intent then you can see this SMS intent we have uh, if I uh, op let me open that <coughs> here you can see texting SMS so you can use a, a SMS intent in Android and use to uh, send SMS uh, without uh, writing uh, without writing that uh, without mentioning that on your Android uh, manifest XML right so let me tell you uh, the reason uh, what I did uh, for this uh, SMS why I uh, uh, access this SMS permission is so in my application there's a new uh, functionality I have introduced so if someone order the food so this is a food app I'm talking about someone order the food what happened is uh, and the same in the background I'm sending the details let's say in the uh, in the ordering form have uh, the quantities and the food they are ordering and their name and the email along with that what I'm doing is without knowing a customer I'm just sending the SMS to particular uh, sender so let's say I'm a I, I want to receive whatever the in a, in application whoever uh, ordering the food that SMS I need to take it to my side so then only know about so yeah there's one customer order my food so that's the reason I have did this so this is uh, uh, actually asking a permission but exactly user don't know each and every orders uh, I will receiving the SMS with along with that particular details which uh, customer is filled in the form right so that is uh, incorrect way basically so that is a uh, one more thing so instead of using and accessing that permission so they ex they are uh, considering that as a sensitive data so that's why app getting rejected after reviewing so what I have did is obviously I have spent a lot of time to develop this kind of functionalities and all it took me more, more couple of weeks uh, for developing this application but unfortunately I got review and got rejected application anyway after reviewing with uh, after reviewing their uh, the reason and alternative solution under their policy documents uh, I decide to uh, modify the uh, code so it took me a couple of hours so what I did is here you can see this is my rhyme food repository so this is I'm always uh, I always have a two repository or one is a public I'm using for github and one is for uh, Bitbucket. that is my private uh, repository of all of the private projects I'm always uh, keeping on there so that's how uh, okay let's uh, go to the topic uh, again so here you can see our android uh, manifest xml right so here you can see i'm just uh, <coughs> again you, you can see here i'm commented this you can see i'm delete this uh, send sms permission and instead of that i'm using use future android name it's a telephony plus camera you can see here hardware telephony and camera and the same here I can using intent filter the intent filter you need to mention so Android intent actions I'm using that is a send and category is the default so more details you can search it and uh, find out uh, in uh, uh, Google Google it and know about that and uh, get to know about it so here I how I uh, set uh, this uh, intent use features everything so I am setting here so I remove this uh, send SMS and uh, one more thing that is a camera also I don't need a permission for the camera also so I deleted this both uh, send SMS plus the camera right here you can see after that I am uh, using a little bit stuff I have modified because 
uh, it's uh, I need to cater with that along with that uh, the policy right so that's the reason I have changed some of the things completely so here you can see I am uh, using Android uh, content and intent and getting actions to send so what is the difference between this uh, send SMS and using the intent so intent is basically uh, accessing a particular uh, what you call particular service in your mobile application or core functionalities user know about it very well so you are accessing this uh, and uh, I already told you I am sending the SMS uh, behind the scenes so user don't know but yeah after that we change that to uh, user to know about it uh, you are going to send the SMS so without permission or without knowing a user uh, we can't uh, send SMS so intent is coming to the picture here so what we are doing is uh, using action send to and uh, fill it out the all the information so fill it out the orders information which a user filled and what we are doing is once place the orders we are displaying some message and you want to send the SMS that is also for the uh, after review purpose that is also basically user want to know everything about your application what are the things you are accessing so that's the reason I have added one of the pop-up and say do you want to send the SMS for the quick response so once place user place the order it uh, then user click a yes button do you want to send the SMS then user press a yes what happened is it's navigated to SMS with filling with the, all the informations which uh, he or she in entered in the order form so now user know about it so this is filled up with all the informations and she or he can decide to send it so that's how I have implemented that functionality so it's all about uh, yeah after permissions uh, you need to do definitely you need to do a lot of things it this is just about a policy violation I'm telling about the core uh, functionalities do not meet with the policy right so this is the only thing which I have I have had so that's the reason I decide to share with you how I got uh, after rejected how I got uh, approved uh, second time but let's say for example if you are submitting uh, this after review and rejected you are submitting a multiple time let's say you can submit more you can't uh, after re uh, review and rejected you can't uh, submit it uh, again another two times so if you do that what happen is the final result should be your account getting suspended so that will happen definitely because uh, you need to after review you need to uh, go through all the documentations they which we which uh, they are sharing with you and or else you need to modify it and review and submit then only it will get approved and again this is uh, one kind of uh, policy violations or uh, core functionality is not matching stuff which I have had but when I was uh, when I was developing my first application that one also got rejected so I will tell you the reason why it got rejected here you can see uh, this is uh, well, this is the uh, notification which I have got so it's uh, 2020 July 28 right so this is the uh, thing I have got this is the notification so here you can see hi developer at Rahim uh, issue with your app the target group you have selected is inaccurate so absolutely because uh, when I was the first time I'm going to submit the application actually I believe me I don't have an idea on that so somehow I only have a goal to submit and get it approved that application that is what I have thought at the time in my mind I don't know about this Google policy violations and policy documents and what are the things I need to have a look when I was developing uh, Android application somehow uh, I can see here uh, inaccurate target audience so when you are submitting I told you before right when you are submitting your application you need to uh, after submit your APK file or WAB file right uh, Android application bundle that is what we call double file so after submitting you have to set the release note 
the version change and uh, what is your target audience what are the countries uh, you need to set and likewise you need to mention it everything when you are submitting your application so uh, i will uh, go through uh, my uh, what you call this so uh, this is my uh, this is uh, yeah here you can see my all apps here so here this is my two application are there so here you can see if you want to uh, create an app you can uh, click create app after create app you need to uh, set the application name and the developer program policies and well the user expected flow you need to accept these all and going to create app once it done what happen is it uh, redirect to your uh, uh, redirect to your application right so I'm uh, at the moment for the showing purpose I'm going here so here you can see a uh, release overview and the productions production is the place where the all the things you are getting submitting so here is a place where all the things are happen so if you want to uh, create a new release you can uh, click uh, create new release here and uh, it will open uh, the form the relevant uh, stuff will taking time so here here you can upload your Android bundle and uh, here you can see uh, release name and release note everything you can uh, set it here so likewise I told you right so store presence I uh, store presence so main store listing here you can see we already set it here and the graphics you can see here graphics app icon your future graphics and uh, the phone screenshot your mobile application screenshot everything you need to set it here and and after that you can submit to review that's all about this uh, uh, that's all about this uh, uh, topic uh, and I and what I'm saying is if you want to develop a, if you want to developing if you are developing for Android applications for uh, mobile right you need to aware about this Google policies I am when you are accessing this camera SMS <coughs> the call logs uh, these are uh, more uh, they are considered this as a more sensitive data so that's the reason they are review and getting rejected so if you are next time if you are developing uh, some application if you got rejected uh, go through that policy documentations uh, properly and understand it, understand it properly if you don't have uh, idea on that so just uh, send an email to them so I mentioned I remember somewhere they mentioned uh, the contact support they have a contact support team you can uh, send a mail to them and they will uh, tell you the proper reason so if you don't have an idea so if not you can still have uh, you can still ask this questions uh, from a different person so you can see you don't need to uh, know about 100% uh, everything but uh, if you don't know but uh, that piece got rejected what you need to do is there's a lot of groups are there so if you are you no know, if you are a developer uh, you aware about the different group like discord is there discord having some different groups is there for that and you can uh, join there and you can ask the questions they will help you to uh, help you to resolve this and get up help right so they will help you so that is what I can uh, de de decide to uh, share with you guys uh, so this is why what I had this is what my experience I'm sharing with you so normally everyone think about thinking about the success only right so they don't know about the failure stuff what are the issues uh, he or she will uh, come across and they are not uh, considering so this is this video will uh, uh, help you to understand them also that is not only a success right so there's a failure also so these are the issues I have come across but most of the people only seeing my success product only but no one know uh, how long it take and uh, how many issues I have faced to get it done this applications right 
so yeah i think i covered all the stuff which i want to share with you so yeah then we'll catch you on new video then bye